we have some problems. <laughs> it could be worse. I could have not realized this until I was out on the road and it would have been a royal pain in the butt. Hello, beautiful people. If you're new here, my name is Amanda Zitto. In about two weeks, I will be riding across the country from Sacramento to Tampa, Florida and back on my 2016 Honda CV500X. If you have missed previous episodes in this preparation series, I encourage you to go check those out. If you have questions about the trip, I also encourage you to go watch my announcement video, which I will link down in the description. We have some problems. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> Uh, the problems I'm speaking of specifically is that I have unfortunately discovered that where I mounted the Pelican case is too far forward on the bike, so I can't remove the seat with it on. So that happened. I am going to have to uh, plug the holes in the Pelican case with silicone and drill new holes. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Right now we're gonna go a little bit back in time to past Amanda and uh, getting at least one thing checked off the list. Yep, here you go. Okay, so we're gonna tackle lights now. And I knew that this was gonna be a problem for me because electrical things in my brain don't get along. I know that I would figure out eventually, but it would take me like four days and I know that Nathan can help me in a matter of hours. So if you do not know Nathan, he has also a channel called For the Love of Knobs. Definitely go and subscribe if you haven't already. I am very, very blessed to know you in person. Well, I'm also blessed to know you in, my, in person. <laughs> You're my friend. Yeah. Um, so the, the joys of having an IRL friend who's very, very smart is that I get to enlist him to help me with projects. And uh, since we're dealing with a little bit of a deadline now, uh, two weeks to the end, which is fine, which is fine, everything's fine. Um, he's gonna assist me in installing the aux lights. Oh my God, it's so bright. <laughs> Turns out I got out and didn't do a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Yay! Yay! The auxiliary lights are installed and done, which is very exciting. They are so bright. Ah, uh, wow. I'm very, very glad that I asked Nathan to assist me because while we were in the process of doing it, I was just thinking like, this would have taken me four days. <laughs> I would have got it done, but it would have taken me a while. So I'm very, very grateful for her assistance. So with aux lights checked off of the list, that leaves some of the more exciting things like uh, fixing the Pelican K situation. Okay, I've got it now where I can take the seat off the bike and the Pelican case will not interfere with it. One of the current drilled holes will work. I just have to fill three of the failed holes and uh, re-drill three more holes. Could be worse. It could be worse. I could have not realized this until I was out on the road and it would have been a royal pain in the butt. <clears throat> so, looking on the bright side, right? Right. Alrighty, the Pelican case has officially been mounted. I can finally check that off of my to-do list. There are only a few things left on the to-do list now, one of them being pre-ordering tires, and I made steps towards that this morning. I did order pivot pegs. They should be here by next week, hopefully, because there's only a week and a half left to go. I need to fix the little handlebar screw. I think I finally have all the pieces for that. I need to install brakes, which, is in this lovely box I'm about to share with you. So SBS was very, very kind and sent me brand new rotors and brake pads for this trip. And also there's some other goodies in this box that I'm excited to share with you. Da -da -da -da! I have never had a company full on send me a puffy jacket before, but look at, I've got a giant SBS flag. I can't even hold the whole thing up. 
I gotta find a home for that. And then they were very kind. They sent me two pairs of mechanics gloves and believe it or not, I have never owned an actual pair of mechanics gloves. And shiny new brake pads, freshy fresh. And then brand new rotors. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm very excited. With new gear, however, means that I get to take the bike apart. <laughs> And uh, it's been a couple years since I replaced the brakes on this bike, so it'll be like doing it for the first time all over again. <laughs> okay, new plan because the pivot pegs just arrived and that's gonna be a much easier job than installing brakes right now. And it's kind of late. So we're gonna install pivot pegs and we're gonna save brakes for next week. Sorry, not sorry, <laughs> but I'm very excited about pivot pegs. pegs are on <laughs> and I think that's some pretty decent progress and uh, next week we'll install brakes get that all taken care of <clears throat> and maybe even uh, go for a ride see how all the new farkles handle on the road all that's left to do is do a test pack Ooh, wow time time is moving along <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Huge, huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make all of these videos possible. I would not be able to do this without you. Huge thank you to SBS for sending me the brakes that I'll be installing next week. Also, love and support to Nathan and Chris from For the Love of Knobs for helping me install the lights. Uh, question for my end screen crew. Have you ever tried to install pivot pegs before? Because, wow, that, um, that was a royal pain in the butt. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. For everybody who was trying to be helpful in the comments of the last video to tell me to silicone the bolts, I, I knew. I included a little clip of all the tools that I was going to use, including the tube of silicone, which I already had um, put all over the bolts so that I had to remove that. I did not record that because it was an unpleasant time. <laughs>